Hi, it's Dmitry Timoshenko. Today we'll learn how to play a song called Havana by Camila Cabello. You can find many different versions of lessons teaching it on YouTube. Some are pretty nice, but difficult. So here today we'll learn a simplified guitar version of it. I left some notes out, but try to keep the most characteristic and important ones so that you as a beginner can enjoy playing that song. Let's try to learn it by notes and taps. Along the way, of course, uh, I will explain which strings you guys should plug and press and with which fingers, so you won't be in trouble anyway. In the Camila Cabello featured Jan Thug Havana version, you can hear the piano. I arranged this part for the guitar. Now, to learn to play this song is very easy, because basically we learn an 8-bar pattern and then just keep playing repeating it during the song. The chord progression used in this song is quite popular in flamenco music. Descending chords. G minor, F major, E flat major. D major So called the Andalusian cadence Now, in this song there is used a variation of it F major is left out of the progression So it sounds like that G minor E flat major D major All right, now the same pattern is used throughout the entire song. In the beginning, verse, chorus, and ending. To make it a bit more interesting, we also try adding a drum effect in a few places. In a bar 2, 4, and 8. This percussive effect is sometimes also called a snare drum. On a guitar, you can imitate it by hitting the bass strings with thumb in a place close to the fingerboard. First bar has two G notes, bass notes and one D note, a melody note. First, it's a sixth string on the third fret, pressed with your third finger and second string on the third fret with your fourth finger. Bass pluck with P finger, the thumb, and melody note with M finger, the middle finger. Second bar contains two E flat notes in bass one snare drum and one D note in the bass. Fourth string on the first fret with your first finger, snare drum and open fourth string. Bass pluck with the thumb, snare hit with the thumb and bass pluck with the thumb. Third bar has two D notes, one of which is a bass note and another D note is a melody note. Fourth string open and second string on the third fret pressed with your fourth finger. Bass pluck with P finger and melody note with M. Fourth bar contains one D note in the bass, one snare drum and one A note in the melody. Fourth string open, snare drum with thumb 
and third string on the second fret pressed with second finger. Bass pluck with the thumb, snare hit with the thumb, and the melody note pluck with I. Fifth bar has two G notes, bass notes, and one D note, a melody note. First, it's sixth string on the third fret pressed with your third finger, and second string on the third fret with your fourth finger. Bass pluck with P finger, and melody with M. Sixth bar contains two E flat notes in bass, one B flat uh, in a melody and one D note in the bass. Fourth string on the first fret with your first finger, third string on the third fret with your third finger, and open fourth string bass pluck with the thumb, melody with I, and bass with the thumb. Seventh bar has one D note and other A note, which is a melody note. Fourth string open, 3rd string on the 2nd fret, pressed with your 2nd finger. Bass pluck with P finger, and melody note with I. 8th bar contains 1 snare, 1 D note in the bass. Uh, and one D in melody, and another melody note is A. Snare, fourth open, second string on the third fret pressed with your fourth finger, and third string on the second fret pressed with your second finger. Snare with P finger, bass pluck with the thumb, melody with M, and another melody note with I. I will play it once again for you in a slow tempo. Today we studied a song called Havana by Camila Cabello. I hope now you can enjoy playing that song. Just repeat that same 8 bar pattern in a loop throughout the song. It's the same in the beginning, same in the middle part and same in the end. That's how the song is built, pretty much it. You can download the notes and tabs from the link given in the description below. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. That's all for today. Have a great weekend and see you soon.